ओम शांति दिस इज द अव्यक्त मुरली ऑफ इलेवन ऑफ डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ओरिजिनल डेट एटीन ऑफ जनवरी नाइनटीन नाइन्टी थ्री टाइटल इज द ऑफ रिवलेशन इज अ फॉर्म प्रॉमिस टूडे द ऑल पावरफुल फादर इज सेलिब्रेटिंग a meeting with his powerful children the all powerful father has given every child as a birth right the treasure of total awareness which is the treasure of all the powers as soon as they took brahman birth each brahman soul claims this right is becoming full and is also making others full bab dada gave full power to every child very easily within a second how did he give it to you he reminded you of it within a second so the awareness became the key to all treasures in a second you remembered my baba and the father said my child within a second you were given this spiritual awareness which is the key to all treasures you accepted baba as yours and you claimed your full birth right so you received it easily did you not now each brahmin soul say with faith and intoxication the father's treasures are my treasures you made the father's treasures your own today is said to be the day of a special remembrance this day of remembrance is the day for giving total power to the children In fact the day of brahmin birth is the day for attaining total power However there is a special importance of this day of remembrance What is that importance On this day of remembrance father brahma made himself a vyakt and in the physical corporeal form he will a special will power to the special children in order to reveal them to the world just as in the beginning he himself will all his relationships and all his wealth to the shaktis for the sake of service in the same way on this day of remembrance father brahma through the corporeal form in the corporeal world willed all the will power to the children to the shakti army in order for them to play their corporeal parts for the sake of world service he himself became one with an avyakt and incognito form and made the children instruments for world benefit in the corporeal form that is he will the will power for service in the corporeal form this is why this day is called the day of remembrance the day of power on the basis of that remembrance bab dada is seeing that in this land and in foreign lands the children everywhere are becoming instruments and are continuing to progress and will continue to progress in doing service because the children have with them a special trimurti blessing you have the blessing of si baba anyway but as well as that you also have the blessing of father brahma the bestower of fortune 
and along with that you also have the blessing of the sweet virgins of the mother jagadamba saraswati this is why with the trimurti blessing you easily experience the right to attain success as you make progress you will experience even more easy methods and elevate and elevated success everywhere there is the zeal and enthusiasm to reveal bab dada that this revelation should take place very quickly this is what you all want do you not when will it happen should it happen tomorrow did you hear the bugles of revelation while sitting here it has already happened but what do you simply have to do you are doing it and you have to do it in order for the bugles of complete revelation to be blown you must just do one thing not even two just one what is that one thing you children are the basis for bringing about revelation but children especially have to underline one thing because the balance between revelation and your promise is the basis of all souls receiving blessings from bab dada you make a promise every day so why is there a delay in the revelation it should happen now should it not so bab dada saw that you make a promise with your heart and with love you do make a promise but one is a promise and the other is a firm pledge what is the sign of a firm pledge you may die but you cannot break your pledge when it is a question of your life then no matter how many small problems arise or how scary the circumstances may be from time to time what are all of those in front of a question of your life so this is called a firm pledge no matter what the circumstances are external circumstances cannot shake your stays at any time in any situation you cannot be defeated but you will become the garland around the neck you will become part of the rosary of victory you will become the decoration around god's neck this is called a firm thought that is a firm pledge so you have to underline the word firm to make a promise means to give the practical proof however at present some children sometimes do make a promise but along with that they also play a very good game you must have understood by now you have become very sensible so what games do you play when any problems or circumstances come that become an excuse for you to make your promise weak instead of solving them you play many games of making excuses you are very clever at this what is the sign of making excuses it wasn't like that it was like this if it hadn't happened in this way it would be like that this one said this that one did that the circumstances were such the situations the situation was like that so like this and like that etc is the language of making excuses 
whereas the language of a firm place is whether it is like this or like that i have to become like the father i have to become this i do not have to make others this i have to become this let it not be i will only be good if others do this only if others give cooperation will i then become complete only then will i become perfect instead of receiving in that way you must become master bestowers and give cooperation love and sympathy which is in fact receiving remember that the meaning of brahman life is to give is to receive the receiving is merged in the giving this is why the basis of a form plays is to see yourself to change yourself and to keep your self respect the self respect is of being a master bestower What will you do in this avyakti year? Will you depart from Madhuban having made a promise? And then when you return home, play the game of making excuses. Instead of your promise being firm, there is one main reason for the promise being weak or for your becoming slack in fulfilling that promise. For instance no matter how big any machinery may be if even one tiny screw becomes loose it makes the whole machine useless in order to fulfill such a promise you make very good plans and you also make a lot of effort however the screw that makes your plans and effort weak is carelessness that comes in different forms it constantly comes in new forms it does not come in the old form tighten this loose screw of carelessness let it not be this happens anyway no this has to happen this happens anyway this will do this is carelessness it will happen just wait and see have this faith dadi didi trust me it will happen let it not be it will happen it happens anyway No, you definitely have to become like the father. You have to become that now. There is a third reason for a firm promise being made weak. Previously as well, you were told something amusing. How some children have very bad short-sightedness, whereas their long sight is very sharp. The short sight is to see oneself and to change oneself whereas the long sight is to see others However what do you see in that You see weaknesses and not specialities This is why there is a difference in the zeal and enthusiasm of their determination Even the seniors do this we are the younger ones so the long sighted vision of seeing weaknesses deceives you because of this you are not able to put your promise into a practical form do you understand what you have to do so do you now know how to tighten your screw or not You have the screw driver of understanding do you not You have all the tools do you not 
So this year make all these three the same. To understand, to have the wish to do something and to actually do it. To make all three the same means to become like the father. If Bab Dada tells everyone to give it in writing, will you write it in a second? It is not a big thing to write on a piece of paper, but write it on your forehead with the ink of determination. Do you know how to write or not? Do you know how to write on your forehead? Or do you only know how to write on a piece of paper? Did, of you write, did all of you write? Was it firm? It wasn't weak that it can be erased in two days. You have to fulfill it. Even if you die, you must not break your pledge. Only such determination will easily make you the same as the father. Otherwise, there is sometimes hard work and sometimes love and you will continue to play these games. Today, although all the children in this land and abroad are physically there, brackets at their own places, in their minds, they are in Madhuban. This is, ba this is why Bab Dada saw the alokic experiences of everyone on the day of remembrance. You have had very good experiences. You have also done service. Baba is congratulating each of you children for your alokic experiences and your service. The pure thoughts of everyone, their sweet heart-to-heart -heart conversations and the garlands of pearls of love have reached Bab Dada. In return, Bab Dada is also putting a garland of love around the necks of all the children. Let each child accept a special personal love and remembrance by name. Bab Dada has such a powerful spiritual wireless set that the sound in the heart of each child reaches Bab Dada at the same time. Not only does the sound reach Baba, but even the loving face of each one emerges in front of Baba. This is why, seeing all the children personally in front of him, Baba is giving special love and remembrance. Acha, to all the powerful souls, to the elevated souls, who keep a valence of a firm place and revelation to the children who are the same as the father, who constantly make all three the same, to understand, to have the wish to do something and to, and to actually do it, to the victorious jewels who constantly overcome problems and become the garland around God's neck. All powerful Bab Dada's love, remembrance, and Namaste. Spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Bab Dada meeting Dadis. All of you are worthy of both the wills, the will of the beginning and the will at the end of the corporeal form. You have received willpower, have you not? Along with the effort of yourselves, the willpower you received in the will gives you extra help in your carrying out the task. As the visible fruit of your courage, you became worthy of receiving multi-million fold help. Many think why did these souls become instruments? The significance of this is that the visible fruit of having had special curries at that specific time became the fruit for all time. 
This is why it is remembered when you take one step of courage you receive multi million steps of help from the father This is why you have attained will power in the form of a will in order to overcome everything constantly It is like this is it not All of you are also companions you are fulfilling the responsibility very well baba also fulfills his promise of giving cooperation at every moment to those who fulfill their responsibility so this whole group is of those who fulfill their responsibility brackets asking the gathering all of you are also those who fulfill are you not or are you those who simply have love there are many who have love but only a few who fulfill the responsibility of it so in which category are all of you you are the handful out of multi millions and the selected few out of the handful in the world there is upheaval and what are you doing you are enjoying yourself with pleasure or are you confused what should we do what is it to happen what is to happen you say that everything will be good there is so much difference in the world they have question marks at every moment as to what will happen whereas what do you have full stop whatever happened was good and whatever is to happen is good for us for the world it is untimely death whereas for you it is pleasure are you afraid will you be afraid when you see a little blood will you be afraid when seven or eight people are sought in front of you you will not see that in your sleep too will you sakti army means to be fearless you have no fear of maya and no fear of the upheaval of the elements are you fearless to this extent or are you still a little weak acha personal group meetings with avyakt bab dada when all your powers are in order you will become a conqueror of maya do all of you experience yourselves to be conquerors of maya and conquerors of matter are you in the process of becoming conquerors of maya or do you still have to become that the more you keep all your powers in order and use them at the right time the more easily you will become a conqueror of maya if all the powers are not in your control then you will be deceived in one way or another a master almighty authority means one with controlling power any time you invoke a power it becomes present and cooperates with you are they in order to this extent are all powers in order or are they a little out of place if you order them now and they appear after an hour is that called being a master almighty authority since the title of each of you is a master almighty authority then as is your title so should be your actions should they not if you are a master and the power is not useful at the right time then would you be called someone who is weak or a master so always check 
and then change which powers are useful at the right time and which deceive you at a night at a time of need if all your powers are not in order can you then become a world sovereign only those who have controlling power and ruling power are able to become world sovereigns first rule yourself and then rule the kingdom of the world a self sovereign is able to control everything as and how he wants what newness will you bring this year you will do what you say let both your saying and doing be equal you say that you are a master of mighty authority and when it comes to doing something you are sometimes victorious and not so at other times so there is a difference in your saying and doing is there not so now finish this difference whatever you say let that be experienced in your practical life by yourself and by others let others also experience you souls to be unique even if there are thousands of people you should appear to be unique um, amidst the thousands not ordinary because brahmins means a lokik brackets not of this world this is an alokik birth is it not so brahman life means an alokik life not an ordinary life do you experience this do people think that you are unique or do they think that you are the same as they are the sign of being detached is that you are as loving to all as much as you are detached just as the father is unique and also loved by all so being detached makes you loved so check to what extent are you you are detached and loved by souls give the experience of alokik bracket is spirituality even in your logic life you know the way to be detached do you not the more detached you become from body consciousness the more loving you will be be detached from body consciousness so you have become a logic have you not So constantly check yourself. Do I stay beyond body consciousness? Do I repeatedly come into body body consciousness? To come into body consciousness means to have a logic life. Every now and then practice entering your body and as soon as your work is over become detached. by being stable in the stage of detachment your actions will be good and you will be loved by the father and everyone so there is double benefit is there not to have a right to god's love is such a huge benefit did you ever think that you would have such a right you would never have thought about it even in your dreams however you claimed such a right so always remain aware that you are souls who have a right to god's love the world is searching for it whereas you have become worthy of it so constantly continue to sing the song wah my elevated fortune and continue to fly let there be benefit for all with your flying stays when you fly everyone benefits the world benefits 
Acha, do all of you remain happy? Always remain happy and also make others happy. No matter what others are like, remain happy and make others happy. Acha, blessing. May you be a jewel of contentment and claim the three certificates of contentment through your elevated actions and a yogi life. The sign of your performing elevated actions is to be content with yourself and content with others. Let it not be, I am content, whether others are content or not. Those who have a yogi life automatically impress others. Whether you are discontented with yourself or others are discontented with you, you should understand that something is lacking in your being yogi. There are three certificates needed for a yogi life. Brackets content with oneself. Second, the father is content. Third, the Lokic and Alokic families are content. First, content with oneself. Second, the father is content. The Lokic and Alokic families are content. When you have received these three certificates, you will then be called a jewel of contentment. Slogan to be always busy in having remembrance and doing service is to have the greatest fortune. Slogan To be always busy in having remembrance and doing service is to have the greatest fortune. Om Shanti